Right guys, it's Monk here, and uh, today I've got a little something different. I've um, been given a few requests to do editing tutorials, so I thought I'd start off by doing one and see how it goes. So today we're going to be learning how to do this. If it'll load up. So yeah, that's uh, a little effect. Um, if you didn't see that, actually we better show you in Vegas. <laughs> I've got the project file open. So as you can see when the scope zooms in, there's um like little things coming up. And when he shoots, flames sort of come out. So it look it looks really nice and it's got a bit of a professional colour correction to it as well. So uh yeah. All I'm gonna do for now, I'm gonna keep the clip in, but I'm gonna just delete the music because you won't have the same music in the clips and everything, so there's no point. And right. So that uh, I just want to delete the as well. Right. If I just set into pack, these things will be in the description, by the way, guys. Um, I got them from an editing pack a while back and I haven't really used them until now so yeah the two you'll be getting are fire ring and gadget one so if we just go into Vegas <coughs> in fact I might take off that colour correction actually I'll just show you what the, I've done for the colour correction I've added a colour curves um, a colour corrector and a soft contrast so I'll, I'll just go over it again actually because uh, just in case you didn't get that, if I just move that, make another video track and move it down, and same with that. Just doing this so that I can uh, show you the uh, sort of difference if you want, if you like. Um, right, so as you can see on there now, all the colour correction is gone it's just really boring and plain and it looks a little bit like not pixelated but just really dull so if you get a go to the color corrector over here and get a studio RGB to computer RGB and add that on that instantly makes it look better get color curves reset to none and drag it on make sure you're dragging it on the timeline guys otherwise it'll just go to one clip and drag this bit down a little bit drag that up a little bit Okay, um, the next thing you want to do is go to Soft Contrast and bring in a warm vignette. And that looks really crap, but we're going to fix it. Go to the Vignette tab and change the exterior effect to Blur. And as you can see, that makes it a lot better. You maybe want to put the strength down a little bit, like that. And as you can see, uh, that makes it a lot better. I usually put it as an ellipse. And you can put that down or up. Depending on how much you want it. Softness up or down. But I think, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to move that back up again to the... to where it was before. Right. And uh, I'll delete this fire. Right. Right. So now, what you want to do is you want to get it out so you can see a whole clip, and you want to find the bit on the clip where the guy's just about to shoot. So uh, there, you can see around there. That's where you can see the shooting. So uh, if you just split the clip there, like I have, and bring in firing, you can delete the audio track. There isn't any audio with it, I don't think. 
and just line it up with the split and then you wanna wanna split it there and delete it split it at the end where it fades away and um, well basically it, it's not um, it's got that little uh, watermark so you wanna get rid of that if you just before you do that just go to properties take off maintain aspect ratio and disable resample uh, just go into here your event pan and crop and just go like whoops make sure these are unchecked like that, like that. and uh, now you'll notice it's gone but because we did the maintain aspect ratio it's still in the middle so if you just watch that again it comes from the middle like he's shooting and the fire's coming out and I think it looks really effective now in this um, in this uh, clip the guy's using fall so orange looks really good but if he was using blue tiger say you would want to go to um, your colour balance and bring in a blue midtones if you just line over the fire and you'd want to sort of play around with it a bit like you could you could make it like pinky or whatever but you know you wouldn't want it too blue like that you'd want it like that I think that looks pretty cool so yeah but I don't want it like that because I've got fall on mine so uh, the orange looks really good So the next thing we want to do is we want to find out wh find where he scopes in. So it's one one sec. We've got we've got the wrong split there. Yeah, you wanna I put it on the wrong split there. Sorry, I've uh, pre sort of done this tutorial a bit so um, just so it's a bit quicker. So if we just play that through now, there you'll see that's better. So now you want to find out where he where he just scopes in, which is there. I've split it, so again, so I know where it is. But I want to find it. So um, the fr if you, by the way, if you didn't know, I'm, I'm changing frames to the arrow keys. So yeah. Um, if you want to go like forward a keyframe, that's where it is, and then back. So you want to go to the keyframe where he's zoomed in, and you want to get your gadget one. Just uh, again, delete the audio track, and you want to make it really. If you just zoom out and I'll put it on on a separate track, because this is like really long, we'll make it really short. Because you don't, you only need a, a little bit. And line that um, where he scopes in. Line the start of it with that, and as you can see there, look it comes up like that but when when he zooms out like there that's when you want it to end but you want it to end a frame before but you you can't really tell the difference because it's just one frame that your eyes can't really tell that much if you just play that through tell it's not really that noticeable so you maybe want to um, get this here and zoom it in a little bit like that okay and then get your color balance put your blue midtones on it and depending on the color again you just want to mess around with it obviously I want it to be orangey yellow so I'm gonna have it like that and then um, you can see that like now it's like properly it sort of fits around the scope and it looks like it's part of the scope and it looks really cool um, obviously you can make it longer by uh, stretching the clip out where he's zooming in longer but you know that's I don't really need to make a tutorial on how to do that but um, yeah if we just look, play it through now you'll see we've got that really nice colour correction on and uh, the, the scoping zoom as well it looks really cool there like there 
it pops out the screen, the fire and everything like that. And I think that I think it's a really cool effect, and uh, it's one that would look pretty good in a a montage and that. But if it's overused, it would look a bit ineffective. But anyway, guys, uh, I think that's about it for this tutorial. Um, if you do like these editing tutorials, uh, then obviously comment below on that. And uh, yeah, well, and also uh, this tutorial was requested by uh, well, not this exact one, but the editing tutorial series was mainly requested by uh, AJ Wilson, uh, who's just got into Darth. So uh, if uh, you go over to his channel and say well done on that, because you know he really does deserve it, and check his videos out, you know that'd be really cool as well as obviously liking this video and uh, yeah so thanks for watching guys peace